Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. It's Anonymous T. Hope you're having an amazing day today. So today we need to talk about Kanye West wanting us to pay $200 to stream his new album, Donda 2, that comes out in a couple of days. This is coming from Mike.com. I will, of course, put the link in the description box so you guys can check out this article. And it says the following. It says it must be nice to be so rich and famous that you can quite literally fuck around, excuse my language, and find out. That's what Ye, formerly known as Kanye West, is doing with the release of Donda 2. Ye announced on Instagram that the new record set to be released on February 22nd, along with the, quote, Donda Experience performance to be held the same day in Miami, will only be available in his new listening device, Stem Player. The announcement is a welcome return to Yee discussing music on his social media rather than his chaotic posts about his personal life. But true to form, it's a bit of a shocking revelation. Yee wrote, Donda 2 will be my will be only available on my own platform, the STEM player, not on Apple, Amazon, Spotify, or YouTube. Today, artists get just 12% the money the industry makes. But you're a billionaire. It's time to free music from this oppressive system. But you said slavery was a choice, Kanye. You you did say slavery was a choice, but now now it's an oppressive system. See what I mean? See what I mean? Slavery was a choice when 45 was president. But now, now that you need black people, now that you need our coins, you now say that it is an oppressive system. Make it make sense. It's time to take control and build our own. He added in an additional post. I turned down a $100 million Apple deal. No one can pay me. So is that why Drake has the deal? Is that Drake's deal? Where you offered the deal first and Drake has it? Because Drake was supposed to be a part of Tidal as well. But then he signed that Apple deal. So I wonder if Drake has your deal. I wonder who was offered that $100 million by Apple first. Was it you or Drake? Hmm. The plot thickens. No one can pay me to be disrespected. We set our own price for our art. Tech companies make music practically free. So if you don't merch sneakers and tours, you don't eat. Mm. While the move is a massive protest for artist rights, it's also a big gamble. But yet again, Ye has the clout and prestige to gamble like that. The STEM player was released in August in congruence of the release of the first installment of Donda. The beige palm-sized circular device looks like something out of a mid-budget sci-fi film and was created through Yeezy Tech's partnership with Kano Computing. What makes the STEM player unique is that it was ergonomically designed so that users can remix songs right from their hand. Now, this feature I actually like that you can actually remix songs directly like that is slick right from your hand i do like that concept ceo of kano and frequent collaborator with ye alex klein told complex of the inspiration behind the device the technology intent was always clear how do we make a device that's super small loud that brings people together and allows you to take the music and hold it in your hand or in your pocket he added that the device is meant so people can create and not just consume the device comes preloaded with Donda, but any record can be uploaded to the STEM player platform and remixed from there. It begs the question if artists want fans to have such an easy ability and even more broadly, if they want fans to focus on, you know, to be on remixing along with simply listening. But like most things, ye doesn't matter what anyone else thinks, ye will do it anyways. And I have to say, you know, with that being said, with the popularity of TikTok and all these other social media platforms and things, um, a lot of people are remixing a lot of our favorite songs. A lot of people are remixing old stuff with new stuff. A lot of people are dropping new beats. The, you know, DJ kids are getting younger, younger, and younger. So it is a good idea to take advantage of that in that places like TikTok and other platforms are getting popular certain songs are re-emerging due to different remixes and people remixing different songs or using the beat of a certain song with a new song and so forth so for that i will say that is something commendable to come out with a small device that does um you know accommodate that the stem player is currently priced at $200 and the fan reaction so far to the news is mixed. Some are seeing it as another one of Yee's innovative strokes of genius, but other avid listeners are feeling priced out of getting to experience Donda 2. 
It speaks to the complex web of privilege that is tied up in artist rights. For an artist to make these big moves that draw attention to the need for change in the industry, they have not to need the money that their record would make otherwise. Of course, there are the artists who have proven they can still make their money when they ditch streaming like Yee's frenemy. I don't think they were truly ever friends. Taylor Swift did with 1989, but there's a big difference between asking fans to buy instead of stream an album and asking for fans to buy a $200 media player. People are also pointing out to 2016 when Yee released Life to Pablo to title and what was supposed to be an exclusive partnership, but within a couple of weeks, um, the Life of Pablo was available on other streaming devices angering fans who had signed up titles specifically for the record you can only imagine how angry fans who pony up the money for the stem player just to get down to two will be if the same thing happens but yet again ye probably doesn't care he's the master of his own universe and while his insistence on fair equity and the artist is admirable as usual it's a weird way to go about it so there is that you guys what do you guys think like I said, if all of this is really going to be about STEM player, then the album needs to be exclusively there. But if in a couple of weeks this album becomes available on Apple Music, Spotify, and Tidal, and everything else, then you already know what it is. And even artists that say that it's exclusively going to be on a certain platform, it eventually appears on the other platforms at some point in time anyways. It's almost as if they do it so that they can see what the initial first week numbers will be. And then if the numbers aren't what they thought they were going to be, or if the numbers take a significant decline, then they're like, okay, let's put this on Apple 2, let's put this on Tidal 2, let's put this on Spotify 2, and this and that. So it defeats the purpose of saying, hey, this is exclusive. Now, it's a good marketing strategy to get people to get your new album as well as marketing the STEM player, but if the STEM player is as great as you say it is, why are we just hearing about it, you know, whenever the album comes out? Why aren't you doing different tutorials or different things of different mixes and uploads and things that people do since we know that you are a great producer and songwriter? That's a way to promote the STEM player. But if it's going to be a thing where we can get down to two in a couple of weeks on Apple Music, Spotify, or Tidal, what's the point? It just seems like this is an attempt to boost sales of STEM Player, and you're just, you know, channeling it around your album releases. But in between that, because um, it's been, what, six, seven months since Donda came out? Like, why are we just now hearing about STEM Player again? Like, where was the promotion for STEM Player the past six months? So, um, so that's where it's weird for me because it's like, you just want the fans money. You just want the $200, but you're not really, you know, doing much. And if it's got, like I said, if it's going to be on Apple music in a couple weeks anyways, like why do I need to spend $200? So it's just wild. But I will say there's even smaller artists, there's independent artists who charge, you know, lots of money for their stuff as well, who don't have the billion dollars like Kanye West does. So it really just boils down to who you like and who you don't like and how much money you're willing to spend for certain people that you like, regardless of what it is, because you still want to support them. And there's still going to be a number of Kanye West fans that will. Because there's people who have bought into the whole Yeezus of, of it all. So there's people who will, buy, who will spend the $200 and get the stem player to listen to this album. But it is still going to probably likely be available on all streaming platforms when it's all said and done. And I need the tea on this $100 million Apple Music deal because it sounds very similar to Drake's deal. So we will um, have to revisit that at a later date. Um, but it's nice to talk about something else than Kanye begging for his wife to take him back on social media and all of these other shenanigans. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are, though. What do you guys think? Would you spend 200 million? Two, not 200 million. <laughs> Would you spend $200 for this STEM player just to hear Donda 2? Or will you, like myself, wait like everybody else is going to or most people will to see if this appears or not on other streaming platforms 
So I'm curious to hear what your guys' thoughts are. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I will talk to you guys again very soon.